Congress narrowly passes a budget framework which they hope leads to a speedy tax reform bill. This comes the same week that we saw a war of words between President Trump and two U.S. senators, one of whom, Arizona Republican Senator Jeff Flake, announced he will not seek re-election. Joining us now is John Schweppe, Communications Director for the American Principles Project, a conservative organization committing to protecting life and religious liberty. So, John, are you surprised by Senator Flake's announcement that he won't seek re-election? No, not, not really at all, actually. Okay. Uh, you know, you, when you look at Senator Flake's situation, uh, he's very unpopular in his home state, actually had an approval rating below 20%. He's out there talking about how he's rejecting President Trump, but really what he's doing is rejecting his own voters. Uh, he understands that, you know, he's not willing to fight on these issues, the issues that his voters are, are most concerned about, and uh, is, you know, more interested in, in being uh, respected by CNN and MSNBC rather than his own voters. So, so then do you think then, is he kind of a lone wolf then, or do you think other Republicans will not seek re-election this upcoming midterm elections as well? It, it's really interesting. Like, the election of Donald Trump wasn't just him running against the Democratic Party. In a lot of ways, he was running against the establishment, do-nothing part of the Republican Party as well. And right now, what he's trying to do is say to the rest of the Senate, uh, hey, we need to get some things done. So there are people who are standing in the way, who are, you know, opposing the president on his agenda. Uh, Senator Flake, Senator Corker, who also uh, decided not to run when he looked like he was going to face a primary. So, you know, this is about everyone getting on the same page, recognizing that the president is the leader of the party, and now we need to accomplish an agenda. And what that means is, you know, uh, protecting life and securing religious freedom, uh, passing tax reform that will help uh, working class Americans get ahead. And that's what they have in plan. And I, I think it's, uh, it's about to get a little bit more busy in Washington. You mentioned that Senator Corker is also not seeking re-election. Right. It's interesting because President Trump has gone out and said that the Republican Party, he's told reporters, the Republican Party is united. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Is there parts, aspects where they are or not? I mean, how do you... Well, I think, you know, the Republican Party is uh, undergoing a little bit of a reform. And there's going to be a purge of uh, some of these Republicans who are on board with the agenda. So now it's about getting uh, conservative uh, people who are in there wanting to get things done and work with the president to accomplish great things. You mentioned earlier one of those things is tax reform. Noting the political circumstance the way it is, do you think they can pass tax reform? How do you think they'll get it done? I think they're very aware, Congress is very aware that the public is waiting for them to accomplish something. Mm -hmm. And tax reform should be something they can get uh, you know, across the finish line. It's going to be tough, but it's really important because right now I think working class Americans are looking for help. And you know, getting a tax cut, putting extra money in their pockets uh, will be huge for them. And, and that's something hopefully we'll be able to accomplish, and I think we will. Absolutely. Very vital issue. John Schweppe, American Principles Project, thanks so much for your analysis. Thanks for having me.